Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan. Today we're going to talk about shock cords in this edition of the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Now I like long shock cords uh, because it allows the nose cone to slow down and when it does that um, it kind of prevents um, what is called a zipper effect where the shock cord can rip down the side of the tube. Now I use Kevlar in all my shock cords because it is highly flame proof um, and it's a lot stronger. It's, in fact it's three times stronger than steel. Now one of the problems with long shock cords though is stuffing this all into the tube. Um, if you just try to just jam it in there, um, you can see it, you have a hard time stuffing it in. Um, and the other part is once you get it all in, it's a big mess and uh, it could easily knot itself up. Uh, and then when that happens, you're effectively shortening the length of the shock cord. Um, one of the other tricks that people try to do is they'll, they'll wrap it, their shock cord around a dowel or you could use your finger and just kind of wrap it around. and then slide it off your finger and into the tube. Now you got this big uh, nice wound up uh, piece of string here and then shoving it into the tube. But again what you're going to find out is eventually you're going to um, tangle that cord making a short cord and then you're going to have problems spe specifically with zippered tubes. Now this rocket here, uh, the shock cords on the outside because this is um, a a competition model meant for streamer duration and when everything is uh, balanced right the rocket will come down like this giving more surface area and slowing the rocket down so that is why on this particular rocket you see it on the outside but most of the time it will be on the inside now um, see here I got a knot already uh, just by uh, playing here when you get a knot don't uh, don't ever just pull on it uh, go at at the knot itself kind of work it work it out okay there we go um, one of the tricks that I learned was from Bob Biedron in 1992 at the World Space Modeling Championships in Florida Bob was crocheting his shock cord and basically he, it just shortens the length of it um, and then he was able to stuff it in um, and then it would when, when it when it deployed it came out really nice now I thought this was great but I didn't know how to crochet um, recently, my nine-year-old daughter learned to crochet, and when I saw her doing this, I said, you got to teach me this so that I can do this on my rockets. Um, so the technique uh, I'm going to show you now is the technique that I learned from her. Um, so basically, uh, you're going to get a crochet hook, and now these are cheap, and you can find these at any uh, hobby store uh, that specializes in, in women's crafts like yarn and flowers and stuff like that and they'll have all these crochet hooks and they're dirt cheap. This was a plastic one. Uh, most of the women they don't like plastic but uh, it works really good on shock cords and they come in different sizes for the the size of shock cord that you're using. Uh, right now I'm using the 100 pound Kevlar shock cord that's available from the Apogee Components website. Um, so basically the technique here is, you know, I want you to watch my hands because this, the, it's all in the technique. So probably about uh, two inches in front of the, the mouth of the tube, make a loop. Now when you make a loop, the part that's attached to the nose cone, make sure that that's on the bottom. Okay, so you can see my hands, this, this part here goes to the nose cone and it's on the bottom of the, the loop. Then with your other hand, make another loop and then with the, the hook on the crochet just go in and just grab that piece of string and then let go. You can see we're, we're tightening up the knot here and making a loop and you can make this as tight as you want or as loose as you want and you, you'll experiment with this and find the what you're comfortable with. Now you're saying now aren't you making a knot? Well basically what happens is when the, when the shock cord pulls out it'll just pull that knot right apart just like that. So, okay, so here's the technique again. So I'm gonna make the loop. Again, this part is underneath. And then I can just reach in with the hook, grab the string, and then just kind of pull it so it's on the, on, the, on the hook like that. Now with this hand, just lay it along your fingers uh, and then grab the string with the hook. And here's the tricky part. What you wanna do is you wanna give that hook a half of a twist and then pull it through that loop and then you make another loop. See that? So again, the technique is just grab, put the, put the string on the, on the hook, and this is the string that goes to the nose cone. 
put it on the hook, give a half a twist with the hook and pull it through. Okay, and just keep doing that. Now, with, with your fingers of your left hand, I'm right-handed, so with my left hand, I'm holding this part here. And if your hook ever comes off, just, just grab, the, grab the loop. Again, just, just reach down in there, grab the, grab the cord, get half a twist, pull it through. So reach downing through, half a loop, half, half a turn, pull it through. And in about three or four minutes, you can probably crochet the whole cord. Okay, so I'm not going to crochet at all at this time. But uh, so you'll have this cord and you can pull it pretty tight. Just don't pull on this string here. So I'm just, to pull it tight, I'm just grabbing the both ends, pulling tight. You can see, look at that. But when the nose cone comes off, now watch. Look at that. It all unravels nice and easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and crochet this for you. And I'm going to pause the tape here. I'm going to crochet the whole thing, and then I'll show you how we're going to stuff this into the, into the tube. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm just about done here. I got probably about two inches of uh, shock cord left to do here. Um, when, you're, when you're about done, leave the hook of the, of the crochet needle on the shock cord. You can see uh, what started out as probably about four feet of shock cord is down to about a foot. And uh, like I said before, this cord right here, you can play with it all you want. You're not going to pull it apart until you pull on the nose cone here. And by keeping the needle in it, um, I can't pull it out. Um, so, and then at this point, now it's a lot easier to stuff in the tube. And because it's a lot thicker, you can, you can shove it in there a lot easier with your finger. And then when you're uh, ready to put the nose cone on, just take the needle out, that last loop, shove it in, and then stick the nose cone on. And there you have it. And then, of course, when the ejection charge goes off, zoop, comes out nice and easy. And you're going you're gonna to love this method. Uh, give it a try. It's going to look weird. It's going to take you a little bit of time to learn the technique, but just kind of review this video and you'll get it. So, may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.